In the lecture, we looked at the world's level of democracy through the World Bank's governance indicator for voice and democracy. We also looked at a couple of others. We rejected the Freedom House Index, but we did have some sympathy for the Democracy Index constructed by the Economist Intelligence Unit, but its coverage was too wide. So what we're going to do here is visualise the world using the World Bank data and show just one last map by way of comparison of the Economist results. The index is expressed in a range from minus 2.5 to plus 2.5, the best performance is being positive, the worst negative. Zero represents the world average for 2012. Data is available for all 152 countries, so the deciles are all 15 except the first two, which are 16 each. The first decile are all Western states in Europe, North America and Australasia. Although the United States, Germany, France and the United Kingdom are all in this decile, the remainder is dominated by wealthy, small and medium-sized states. In the second decile, we still retain a European dominance, with South America with Chile and Uruguay, and East Asia with Japan, Taiwan and South Korea now appear. The third decile increases the regional representation. We see the large states like India and Brazil appear. And towards the end of the range of the fourth decile, we pass through the world average. We'll now scroll through the rest without further comment, but don't forget you can pause the visualisation whenever you wish. The Economist Intelligence Unit has constructed a composite index with five components, each counting for 20%. As we said in the lecture, strictly speaking, only two of these, electoral processes, and political participation cover the same ground as the voice and accountability indicator, so we shouldn't really expect a strict match between the two sets of results. And if you look closely, there's some slippage between the decile, but there's no real great shift in the picture. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this visualisation of world democracy. Both sets of data are in the database accompanying the course, and here you can see the differences in more detail.